This short video is about levers. A lever is a beam which turns about a point. Examples of levers are scissors, pliers, um, crowbars, seesaws, doors, door handles, and so on. They all are beams which have a point at which they turn. And they turn because, with my fingers, I apply a force. Now, we're going to try and demonstrate some um, patterns to do with levers using weights and distance. We're going to measure the distance uh, informally in terms of the holes on the beam. And we're going to measure the, the weight or the mass formally by the number of grams we hang. So if I hang this um, on three slots, three holes away from the turning point on each side, it, that should still balance. Now, it's not exactly three because we have some holes obscured by the paper clip. So we'll move it up and we should be able to count it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six on one side and one, two, three, four, five, six on the other. And using the pad, I will write left and right. And so I'm getting balancing by having six and ten grams, six holes and ten grams on one side, and six holes and ten grams on the other side. Now, if I double the weight by having twenty grams, what do I do to make it balanced again? And I have two options. Some of you may think, well, you could move out the heavier one. That might work. Or you could move out the lighter one. And that seems to work better. Okay. So they're not exactly still not exactly balanced that's a bit better okay so what have we got here one two three four five okay so we have five holes on one side and 20 grams and on the other side we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten holes 10 grams. Okay. That's good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three. Okay. So I've got three on one side and two on the other and it's imbalanced. imbalanced. Okay. So I want to balance that up. And um, what can I do? Well, I could move that out, but you see now it doesn't make any difference. So let's move this in. And that improves a bit. Okay, it's not exactly right. That looks a wee bit better. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now I have ten. And 20. And this one I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 holes, but 30. Okay, and it doesn't look exactly right. Okay, and so I'll do it for one more. just add 
we just add uh, one more and we see it's just gone a little bit imbalanced so we need just to move that in a little bit like so so we've got the same as before 10 and 20 10 holes and 20 grams now we have 40 grams and we only are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 holes on the right hand side now put that down okay and we look at our we look at our numbers what you'll see here is the number of holes in form on a unit on the left hand side 6, 5, 10 and 10 and the number of holes on the right hand side 6, 10, 7 and 5 and the number of grams that were hanging at each each place now, now there's a pattern if we multiply all of these what do we get? and I'm going to write the, the answer underneath on this line 6 by 10 is 60, 6 by 10 is 60 5 by 20 is 100, 10 by 10 is 100 10 by 20 is 200, 7 by 30 is 210. And 10 by 20 is 200, and 5 by 40 is 200. Now, is there a pattern? Well, there's a pattern except for this one. The pattern is is that the product of the number of holes and the number of grams on each side is equal. Okay. Now the number of holes represents distance. And the number of grams represents force. So force is usually measured in newtons. So I've written up the top here. If we uh, find the distance by the force on one side, it should equal the distance by the force on the other. For it to be balanced, that's the key thing. Now, when we were doing the experiment, uh, this one wasn't exactly balanced, it wasn't a dead level okay. and the problem with using uh, a beam like this and using informal units is that the holes are not exactly uh, a centimetre apart and you, when you're trying to balance it on either side it, it is actually possible with this particular beam so you're going to have a little one out like that whenever you do this experiment there's always some some something let you know that's going to have an amount of error in it okay but in theory this should always hold true okay and the thing is is that what we have here is a type of seesaw and the basic notion of a seesaw is is that you have two two uh, forces applied at either end and that the people sit at a certain distance from the fulcrum and if there is one person who's heavier that person moves towards the fulcrum and that allows it to still be balanced and this is called the law of the lever and mathematically the law of the lever is that the distance times the force on one side should equal the distance times the force on the other finally I just say that 
Okay, we measured this in grams. Okay. Um, in order to in order to uh, uh, do you know convert this, you can convert this into newtons because for every ten grams is one newton. Um, in distance, we are measuring the number of holes. Um, there, the center of each hole in the in the, in the beam we used is about uh, seven millimeters apart. So you could convert that into millimeters and uh, make it more formal.